I think that this is going to push some boundaries on PSP. I don't think you've seen a game that's been this polished and this tuned on the PSP. The pace is fast and, and frenetic. And you've got, you know, people running this way and that. It's constant explosions going off. Definitely human opponents are much trickier than AI opponents, in my opinion. And especially when they're given the full arsenal that you have, access to the same weapons, it can be, it can be really exciting um, watching you know, explosions and guys flying through the air and stuff. We have an online mode where you can get together with your friends playing infrastructure, which is over the net, um, or you can play ad hoc, which is you know, eight people next to each other um, playing wireless. We have uh, five different game modes. There's free-for-all, team deathmatch, capture the flag, return to the base with the enemy flag. A new free-for-all style called assimilation, where when you die, um, you're assimilated into the other team, so the number of people on each team swings back and forth. There's also containment mode, which um, involves coolant nodes similar to Resistance 1 on the PS3. We are in control of current node. Once the reactor overheats, kaboom, game over for your side. If you go to my Resistance website, you're gonna be able to access Resistance 1 stats, Resistance 2 stats, and Resistance PSP stats. You can use the same login that you have on the forums, and there's leaderboards for both individual players and for cells. It's really a lot of information for the player. Well, what we really want is to make an online community for Resistance, so people, people can log on, get to their friends, their friends list, um, play, play together as a team, um, you know, working together to, you know, all the different multiplayer modes that we have. Um, each one requires teamwork together, so you're kind of picking and choosing who your friends, who you want to play with, the best people, of course. Resistance PSP has been a fun project so far, and I'm hoping everybody loves it. And if so, we're going to be the happiest people on the planet.